Our craft for today is a 3D Christmas gnome. For today's craft, you are going to need some paper. Now let me just show you. This was my gnome here. I used red for the main part of my gnome, and then I used white for some decorations, and I have yellow for the nose. Today I'm gonna to make a green gnome. I'm using white here for the beard, and I'm using a few different colors for some decorations. I'm gonna use some little circles to decorate, but you can do whatever you want. So grab the color you want to use for the main part of your gnome, grab the colors you wanna use for your decorating, and you need some white. You're gonna need some glue, some scissors, a pencil, and then we can get started. So go ahead, grab what you need. The first thing we are going to do is use the color you are using for the main body of your gnome. I'm gonna put my piece of paper in front of me, long side left to right, short side top to bottom, and we're gonna take this bottom corner and we're going to be gently bringing it up here and then rolling it in. So let me just show you. I'm going to bring it up and I'm rolling it in. And that's where the roll is going to happen. So to do that, you're going to need quite a bit of glue. So I find the best thing to do is take your glue and right at the top here, you're going to put glue. Now you don't need to go all the way to the end because you're not gonna have enough paper there. We're going to cut that part off. So just put glue, 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 maybe three quarters of the way. Don't worry if you make a mistake. If you put too much, that's okay. If you don't put enough, we can add some. So I've got quite a bit of glue. Then I'm gonna take this corner. I'm gently rolling. See how my paper is rolling? I'm rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. And then I'm going to just turn it so you can see. You're going to push down on it. So it's going to push right down. So as you're rolling, you should be able to stick your hand right in there. And there you go. Now it can be a little tricky. So if that didn't work, just take your time, stop the video, rewind and try that again. Now I'm pushing quite a bit with my arm inside to make sure that glue sticks. I really need this to stick. If you need to add any more glue here, go ahead. Once that's done, you'll notice we have a problem here. This does not look straight, and so we need that to be nice and straight. So what I wanna do is not push it down all the way. Just gently grab my pencil and just put a straight line Whoop, my pencil's not working. There we go, straight line across. And gently folding it down without crushing it too much, you're going to cut. Now you're going to notice it's still a little bit diagonal, like it's got a little curve here. So then we've cut this way, we're gonna turn it this way, and we're gonna do the same thing you want it to be nice and straight. So we don't want this little thing here. So we're just going to put our pencil down and cut again, gently as we go. Always good to cut a little less and then you can always cut more off later. And then you should end up with a cone that stands up. If there's an issue and it's a little bit wobbly because it wasn't cut straight, just trim a little bit. So I'm gonna just trim this so it's nice and straight and then it should work for you. Now's the part where you get to decorate your gnome any way you want. So there is no right or wrong. The only thing you do wanna do is, I like to start with the beard. And to do that, I take my white piece of paper, I fold it in half. I'm going to go to the fold, so this is my fold. I'm going to take my pencil and draw a straight line across like this. And then I get to draw my beard. And to do that, I like to just curve down and then up. Curve all the way down and then up. Curve even farther down and then up. And if I can go again, I'm gonna go again, down and then up. And I think I can get a tiny little curve again. So you can see it's a curve and then up, a curve and then up, a curve and then up, a curve and then up. You could have one big curve. You could have little puffy things. It's completely whatever you would like, but once you are done, you are going to cut that out. Now that you have it cut out, all you have to do is open it up and there you go. You have a very unique beard. When you place it down, you want it to come all the way to the end. So 
that's how you will know that's how I'm going to glue. Now when you're gluing, just be careful because you're gluing onto your cone, which is your body, and it can be tricky. So what I like to do is put my hand inside to stabilize it, and then I glue the beard right at the bottom, and I just use my fingers to gently get it to stick. And if part of it doesn't, I add some more glue and just Keep rolling it a little bit on each side until it sticks. The next part I like to do is my nose. So to do that, I'm going to take a little bit of my yellow. You choose the color you would like to use for your nose. And I'm drawing an oval. That's going to be my nose. And then I'll cut that out. We're going to glue that on. So when I'm placing this, I like to have a little bit of the beard and then a little bit of the green showing. So you can see it's kind of half and half. Then comes for whatever you would like to do for your decorations. Now, remember this one, I just cut out some strips and I glued them on, kind of like a candy cane. Today, I am going to use all these colors that I have and I'm just gonna cut out little circles. I'm gonna add the yellow to that just gonna line them all up. I might even add some white and see what that looks like. You don't have to glue them on, but I can at least cut them out to see if I like them. So I'm gonna line up all these little pieces and cut, or draw, draw a circle. I think I'll draw a larger circle and then maybe a smaller circle and cut those out and then just randomly place them all around be creative with this. You could put stars, you could put stickers, whatever you would like. So just go ahead and cut out what you need and then you're ready to glue them on and decorate your gnome. Okay, so as I'm going here, you can see I'm trying to decide what I want to do. And I've decided that I think I'm gonna take a big white circle. I'm going to make a large white circle for a little pom-pom on the top. And then you can do all around the back as well. Go ahead and decorate, decorate, decorate. And when you are all done, you will have a cute gnome. And just remember now that you know, ah, now that you know how to make one. Oh, there's the dog. Now that you know how to make one, you can, Sorry about the noise. You can make one in as many colors as you would like. So I am gonna go and let that dog out and I'm gonna make my pom-pom for the top here and I will show you when I am all done. And there, I am done my 3D Christmas gnome. I think it looks great. And here's a picture of my dog who was barking. Sorry about that. Thanks for joining me on Craft Club for Kids. Remember, be creative and have fun.